In today's video, we talk about Saint Teresa Benedicta of the Cross, also known as Saint Edith Stein, for whom we celebrate her feast every August 9th. As we reflect on her life and death, we are reminded of the importance of standing firm in our beliefs, even in the face of unimaginable challenges. Saint Teresa Benedicta of the Cross, also known as Edith Stein, was born on October 12, 1891, in Breslau, Germany, now Wrocław, Poland. Raised in a Jewish household, she showed remarkable intellectual aptitude from an early age. Her thirst for knowledge led her to study philosophy under the guidance of renowned thinkers like Edmund Husserl. Despite her academic achievements, she experienced a growing sense of spiritual dissatisfaction. In 1921, while visiting friends, Edith spent an entire night reading the autobiography of the 16th century Carmelite nun Saint Teresa of Avila. When I had finished the book, she later recalled, I said to myself, this is the truth. She was baptized into the Catholic Church on the first day of January, 1922. Edith intended to join the Carmelites immediately after her conversion, but would ultimately have to wait another 11 years before taking this step. Instead, she taught at a Dominican school, and gave numerous public lectures on women's issues. She spent 1931 writing a study of St. Thomas Aquinas, and took a university teaching position in 1932. Teresa Benedicta entered the Discord Carmelite Monastery in Cologne in 1933, where she continued her intellectual pursuits while also nurturing her spiritual devotion. Her writings and teachings reflected a profound synthesis of philosophy and theology, as she sought to bridge the gap between faith and reason. One of her most influential works, Finite and Eternal Being, demonstrated her deep engagement with the thought of Thomas Aquinas and highlighted her ability to navigate complex theological concepts. Her insights into the nature of human experience, the role of women in society, and the relationship between faith and culture continue to resonate with scholars and believers alike. I ask the Lord to accept my life and my death, she wrote in 1939, so that the Lord will be accepted by his people and that his kingdom may come in glory, for the salvation of Germany and the peace of the world. Tragically, the rise of Nazi power in Germany cast a dark shadow over Teresa Benedicta's life. As a Jewish convert, she faced persecution, and her cloistered existence could not shield her from the horrors of the Holocaust. After completing her final work which is a study of St. John of the Cross entitled, The Science of the Cross, Teresa Benedicta was arrested along with her sister Rosa, who had also become a Catholic, and the members of her religious community, on August 7, 1942. The arrests came in retaliation against a protest letter by the Dutch bishops, decrying the Nazi treatment of Jews. Saint Teresa Benedicta of the Cross died in a concentration camp at Auschwitz on August 9, 1942. Saint John Paul II, who was then the head of the Catholic Church, canonized her in 1998 and proclaimed her a co-patroness of Europe the following year. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.